Hey Simlays and welcome to part 7 of Let's Play The Sims 4 and uh, I kind of did make a little bit of a big, <laughs> big, big, big boo-boo. Um, I actually, oh, she reached, the, reached level 2 of the mischief skill. <laughs> oh my god, Trinity, you are so cute. Uh, anyway, my big boo-boo is that I recorded this part already and saved it and then realized I recorded a black screen because I record on Windows now and I'm a little bit derpy at it still. So the thing is, Trinity and Cody have tried for a baby and she's now eating for two. Uh, but she and Cody don't really know they're expecting yet, I don't think. So I am really sorry about that, but we'll continue on. And I do have something very exciting that's going to happen in this part. And that is that we're going to get some familiar faces to move in because we are struggling with our bills. Uh, that is for sure. Anyway, uh... Okay, so Trinity is doing really well. Uh, she's really working quite hard, which is awesome. And Cody is still at work. Uh, what's the time? 4.43 p.m. So what I'm going to actually do is we might go go visit. Uh, we might go visit our new friends that have just moved into the world. So where, 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 where? Where, <laughs> where am I going? Travel. Let's travel. And I'll introduce you to them. I think a lot of you guys will actually recognize these guys uh, from The Sims 3. And they're in a bit of a dodgy house at the moment. But that's going to change very soon because we're going to invite them to live in our household, which is going to help pay our bills. That or we were going to have to downsize. And I was really happy with the house that we're living in at the moment. So uh, let's go check out who's living here. Knock on door. I think she might actually already have a little bit of a tummy. Uh, unless she's put on a little bit of weight, which a few of you guys were warning me about. Uh, oh, I love that knock. She's got a strong knock on her, Trinity does. So, in this household, we have Ashton Valentine, uh, our sporty sim. And, of course, we have Xavier Grand. Not Xavi from The Sim Supply, my LP. Uh, but this is a different Xavier from the Luna Island LP. Ashton was actually Trinity's brother in The Sims 3, but we're just going to say that because they've been away from each other for a while, uh, they, they don't have their sibling relationship. But these guys are the cutest couple ever, and we're going to actually get them to move in. So let's just get their relationships up for starters. And uh, share big news. So that must be her pregnancy, I'm assuming. Oh. oh, she's excited. So she does know she's expecting. Oh, heartfelt compliment. More choices friendly, get to know. More choices discuss interests. I'm excited to uh, break the news to Ashton. I'm not Ashton, Cody when he gets home from work. <laughs> I wonder if we can actually ask to move in if we become good enough friends. Uh, discuss interests, uh, deep conversation. She's a bit hungry. I wonder if they'll make dinner for us. <laughs> Compliment outfit. We're loving this v-neck, by the way. Loving it, loving it. And tell engaging story, tell funny story. How are our relationships going? She's going to need to use the toilet pretty soon. Is that... Uh, where's Zavi? Oh, Xavier's over there. We can't call him Zavi, otherwise he'll sound like creepy Zavi. Uh, tell joke about engineers. We better not do that. Uh, just brighten day, discuss interests. And then we can actually do a bit of a hug. Uh, she's reached level three of charisma. That's good. So we're still acquaintances. Hmm. Are we going to be able to to eat something as well? May as well. Help ourselves. I don't think they'll mind. Surely not. Uh, pitch story idea. See what he thinks of that. She might actually pee herself if we're not careful. <laughs> oh dear. We better use that toilet quickly. Tinkle time. 
how they i really want them to move in but i want them to actually know each other i don't want them to just yeah, move in not knowing each other because that would just be weird okay, so friends yay okay can we now ask to move in ask to move in Alrighty, here's the big movement Click OK to go to Households, Split or Merge to modify which sims will live in which households. Okay. I'm excited. Yay! So we're going to be moving them into their household where they only have 812 Somalians. So now they're going to have to have a lot more money to sell or lot furnishings. Tick! Woohoo! So now they're moved in, I actually really want to get um, Xavier and Ashton to adopt a child together. They're not married yet, or engaged even. Uh, they're partners though, they're boyfriends, and I thought what would be really cute is that if we go upstairs, uh, well this is going to be their room, and Xavier's already making himself at home on the computer. But we could actually make this second lounge room into a kid's room so that Ashton and Trinity's future child... No, not Ashton and Trinity's. Oh, gosh. Cody and Trinity's child, uh, first child, can actually share the room with Ashton and Xavier's adopted child. I thought that would be pretty nice. Uh, they do have jobs. Xavier is a artist. Uh, I also want to buy him uh, a workbench because he's meant to be quite a handy sim. Quite a cool dude. Uh, bit of surfer dude. Oh my gosh! That is so amazing. That is so cool. It's like a full on maze. I love that. Anyways, uh, moving back to what I wanted to do. Now, I'm not a huge fan of this drop down menu, to be honest. Activities and skills. We want to get that. Where is the workbench? Here we are. This is actually quite expensive. Color. I like the look. White one. We're going to pop it over there so he can uh, work on that. Savior can. And we also want him to be an artist. So we're going to get an easel because he is a painter. And pop that in his room. A little bit of renovation quickly. I'm going to carry this blue wall. Actually, we'll make the whole room blue, I think. Yeah, I like that idea. And I think we can actually get rid of this table with the panda light on it. And we'll get a nice bed. How much money do we have? 19,000. Well, I don't want to go below 15,000. That's going to be our budget, but we'll get them like a decent bed. Do you want? Uh, I wish we could change the Duna covers. It's not a fan of them. Hmm. We'll go, we'll go black. Back to black, and then we'll get surfaces, in case some bedside tables. Great. Pop in some mismatched ones, I think. Like so. And then we'll get some lighting in here as well. I think we should have one of these lamps, a circle. I love these. They're so boss. They're very uh, Xavier, I think. I think Xavier would like that. Get rid of one of these lights, because we're going to have another light over here. Okay, so this light could be just a nice red one. I really love red and navy blue. That's some of my, well, like, one of my favorite things. Decorations. I think this one... Oh, it won't fit. How sad. Okay, well, we can get a nice little tissue box. No? It doesn't even want that on there? Seriously? Seriously, Sims 4. Please? <laughs> Please? <laughs> oh, okay. Alright. Uh, I think above their bed, I want this rocket. This rocket's so cool. We scale it up. And if we hold down Alt, we're just going to be able to position it on the wall a little bit more nicely. And I think also to finish off their room, they're going to need... Uh, oh no, storage, storage, storage. Oh, I really don't like that drop down menu. It's much easier being able to choose from pictures. Oh, this is pretty cool. Does this come in red? Yes. It's 
that can match the little red lamp. Quite nice. And we'll put some paintings up uh, by Xavier, which I did earlier, trying to get his skill up. Uh, decorations. Oh, we can probably put a pot plant up here. I quite like this little one. I think it's very cute. There we are. Oh, we don't want two. That's a bit of an overkill. Got a nice little tissue box, just a white one, and some books on there to make it look a little bit more lived in. That'll have to do. And maybe a mirror, because I have to share the bathroom, so it's best if they have their own mirror to have access to. Uh, do I want white or black? We'll just keep it pretty plain and simple for now. We can't really spend too much money out here. Uh, punching bag out on the deck. That's easy, that's good and well. Uh, how are we looking in the afternoon? I mean, it's okay, the lighting. It'll, yeah, it'll do for now. Okay, if we go into live mode and we'll get Xavier's inventory up, here are some paintings that I prepared earlier. I'm gonna put that, oh, or not. Why would that sit behind there? Are you serious? We need move objects so we can move this slightly away from the wall. Oh dear. Okay, put this painting on the wall over there. And if we have this slightly out from the wall like that. And if we go back into live mode. Should be able to... Okay, that's better. That actually suits the room pretty pretty perfectly. Now I'm realizing now you can't hold alt to put these up. They can only go at one height, which is a bit annoying, but that's all right. That's okay. So let's get, uh, how is Xavier feeling? He's feeling pretty good. He will need to go to bed soon, but let's get him to sculpt for now. And then Ashton, how are you doing? <laughs> how are you doing? Well, actually his job, because there is no athletic career. Oh, milk. Why don't you have a drink of milk? Uh, because he does not have the option of athletic career, we're actually getting him to go into the secret agency uh, pathway, career pathway. So I think what it said, he needs to browse intelligence database. So let's go career, oh no, web, web, browse the intelligence database. Quite the handiness skill, yay, go Xavier, so proud. So very proud. All right. Oh, Cody's home. Did he already go to, oh, look at that. He's fallen asleep in his work clothes. Oh, bless, that's so sweet. But we want to break the good news to him. Trinity, where are you? Oh, Trinity's not even back here yet. Uh, bring Trinity back home. She's just chilling at their old house, <laughs> helping them move out. Uh, I think, now that she's home, can we wake up? Yeah. Mm. He's like, why are you waking me up? Oh, Cody. Where did he go? Where are you going? He's, go he's going downstairs to dance. Oh, I'm glad The Sims hasn't lost its sense of humor. Okay, so share, let's kiss cheek and then let's share the big news. Okay. Doesn't she look pretty in a maxi dress? I did change her clothes. Nina. She's like, hey, how was your day at work? <laughs> oh, look at his bottom lip quiver. He's like, I'm gonna be dad. Yay, can he? Oh, we better flatter her. And then can we? Feel her tummy or anything like that yet? No. Not yet. Maybe we should do a cheeky woohoo uh, before going to sleep. There we are. And while they're having a great old time, uh, I even got her to put in on fancy lingerie to try for a baby as well. So that was a bit sad. Xavier, he's off to sleepy time. And... He's still browsing the intelligence database, so that's really good. These guys sleeping. Great. Why are these lights still on? I think it's actually, you guys said to turn on 
auto lights. Oh, perfect. Well, that fixed that very nicely. And you know what I really like? I like how, uh, I believe, oh no, that's just the light going through to the other room. That's really nice, that little bit of detail there in the graphics. That That's super nice. Uh, okay, so here's browsing the internet. Having a great old time. And I think he becomes embarrassed from this. Sometimes I think, what's that? Oh, uncomfortable from low energy. Too much intelligence, bored. Oh well, so how's he going for work then? So he's, he's completed that. Does he have to do anything else? No, so he's completed that. Uh, reach level two. He needs to view or admire three different works of art. That should be fine. And what about Cody? How's he going? He needs to cook an excellent grilled cheese. So, okay, but he's already reached level two. That's not bad. Prepare food. So he's going to have to prepare breakfast in the morning for everyone. And why are you up already, Ashton? Did you even get enough sleep? Is he... Oh, he's playing computer games. Ashton, it's 5.30 in the morning. Go back to bed. <laughs> he probably has work soon. Okay, so Cody's awake. He's happy because of the big news. He's ecstatic after hearing about a new family member. Oh, it's so sweet. Oh, I think he should get up and make surprise food for Trinity. Okay, let's turn that off. There goes my phone. Okay, so let's serve... Ooh, cook a gourmet meal. Black and white cake. That is so cool. Wow. Well, I know who's cooking the wedding cake. <laughs> uh, we just want to cook... We want to serve breakfast, which is going to be something really nice. And I think we'll do French toast to celebrate. So he can cook that up. Because he's pretty hungry. I think everyone's pretty hungry. Hungry. Eh, somewhat hungry. Trinity's hungry. And of course, because she's preggers, she's going to have to use the toilet. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, let's get Xavier up to fix that. Because he's going to be the handyman of the house. Let's repair so Trinity, the lady of the house, can actually use it. That would be a good thing. Uh, okay. When do you have work, Trin? I think 9. 9 a.m. Got a couple of hours, so that's not too bad. How far off are these? Okay. Great. Let's call household. Call to meal. He's listening to the alternative music. Okay, Trin. Grab a serving. Xavier, grab a serving. And... Ashton, you should probably join the exciting, the exciting news as well. Work for Xavier starts in about an hour. Awesome, we've got a good share house happening. Wait, where's Xavier eating? Eat at the table with Trinity, she's expecting. Come on guys. Oh, good, Cody. Good on you. So, are we going to talk about the exciting news? Can we do that? I want to... Oh, we can just... Oh, she's going to be sick! She's going to be sick. I'm so excited. Romance. Flat. We'll have a little flat at the table. She should really put on something a little bit more appropriate in terms of our underwear. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, so... Co oh, Cody already... He's already at work. Oh, he's sore from working out still. He's busting. So they have to work out? Oh, she does have a tummy! Does she? I think it's the tiniest one. That's awesome. So exciting. Get a promotion from being ambitious. Buy an object worth 500,000. Okay, Xavier's off to work as well, by the looks of it. Oh, so it's just Cody. It's 
Curdy in the big house. Okay, let's put these in the sink. What else do you have to do, Curdy? Because he really needs to start earning some money. Grilled cheese. Cook. Can we just choose to... There we go. Grilled cheese. Let's do a single serving to fulfill uh, that, that career need. Hey, he's listening to Alternative while Cooking. That's pretty cool. That multi... multi-ability. Let's hope this is excellent. His confidence. Oh, royalty report books. The birds and the bees has uh, got 10 simoleons. How's that for timing? Yeah, you cooked an excellent one. Uh, let's put this away. You guys were saying that I need to put things away in the fridge more. Oh, which is probably true. Let's put that away. Okay, so how are we going for needs, Cody? He's a bit tired. Uh, but what I think I will do just before we finish off this part here is actually buy something uh, for the new child. Uh, because he's he's getting excited. Uh, and we're going to do a little bit of renovation. So let's buy the new baby something. A baby genius mobile. Or a little bunny buddy. Oh, a little lady. A good luck lady beetle for the child. But we don't know if it's going to be a boy or a girl. Maybe we'll just get a red one, a good luck uh, one for the child, which we'll put in our... in Trinity's office, maybe, as a gift. So that's good luck for the new baby. And this little pot plant, we can just pop... Uh, let's just pop it. Uh, let's just get rid of it. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are. And I will speak to you soon.